Welcome back. Why did you click this video? I mean, I'm glad you did, don't get me wrong, please stick around, but what possessed you to click on a video about claustrophobia? This isn't gonna be fun, it's gonna be uncomfortable. But thanks for clicking on the video. It's gonna be a wild ride, but don't worry, we're both gonna be uncomfortable. And that's what matters. Today we're looking at some more gnarly claustrophobia videos. I think it's mostly videos, a couple pictures, and I know what you're thinking. Why? We're gonna have fun. Somehow, we're gonna have fun. We look at almost exclusively bad things, but I almost always have a pretty fun time. So I don't know what that says about me, I don't know what that says about you, but let's jump into it, shall we? This is a Japanese game show. Oh my. <laughs> I should note that I don't technically speaking, I don't think I have claustrophobia, but I feel like we all do in some way. You know, like it's just like an instinct. I don't have a phobia, so not all these are going to get me, but I do not like the idea of this happening to me. So. Ah, dude. Ah, it's horrifying where it cuts off. It's like she just is like freaking out, gasping for breath and screaming at the end there. And then it wraps her face up and then the video ends. <laughs> okay, well, um, we can assume she died. Not really, it's a game show. Fire escape from tall buildings. Hey, it's a tube. Oh Shoot It's a shoot <laughs> What the heck does that work? Like what if you're super skinny? I feel like if you were too skinny Maybe you wouldn't get the friction. Oh, maybe you'd be really you'd be really dang skinny. That's crazy That's one of those things that like okay This is coming from someone who doesn't really have claustrophobia and wouldn't really be bothered by this And so for me that would just be such a bizarre experience to go through a tube like that It would be a little bit funny But you would only be doing it in a situation where your home is on fire and like people's belongings and hopefully no people hopefully everyone is escaping but like something horrible is happening but then you got to go on this little tube ride you know i would just have to have a moment halfway through of just sheer confusion of what i'm feeling on one hand i'm like oh my gosh uh, my belongings are all burning right now tube ride this is crazy what the this is like mario this is like mario going on those green pipes in the old games this is crazy i love this you know but then i hit the bottom and be like oh my gosh my computer's on fire everything i own is on fire computer room on an airbus is an airbus just a plane am i stupid yo dude That's crazy. There's so much. It makes sense. Okay, here we go. show you the worst theme park ride in, in the world. So it's this cave simulator and it's 300 feet and it takes 15 minutes to go and you have to fit through this tiny space. I should have run. How do you like it? I didn't know it was 300 feet long. You thought you were going in and out? I thought it was done right here. 300 feet, have fun. Okay, low-key, this is how I know I don't have the phobia. I would do that because that skips all the things that I hate about like cave diving. You're in public, it's light out, people know you're in there, a thousand people have done it probably that same day. You know, there's nothing scary about that to me. It would be like a fun challenge to like test my ability to deal with being cramped, you know, in like a safe environment. Where is that anyway? Can I find this? Glenwood Springs, Colorado. Bookmark that. <laughs> Just do like a road trip around the country where I just torture myself at all these locations we've looked at. That would be a sweet video, wouldn't it? Let's see it, buddy. Dang. Dang. A tsunami evacuation pod for sale in Japan. Okay, can I just say that this looks cool as hell? Can you imagine actually using this for its purpose? Like a tsunami's coming. I don't know, you have one of these in your house, I guess. And then you go in it, lock it up, and then the tsunami crashes and destroys everything around you and you're just in this ball for the duration of the tsunami and you just get bounced around in darkness while the world crumbles around you. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'd rather die from the tsunami. I don't think I'd like either of those very much, but hey, you'd get to know what it's like to be a Pokemon in like a Pokeball. Dear Lord. <laughs> Jeez. The dude drowns in 12 seconds flat. Wait, wait, hold on. 
He drowns in eight seconds flat. You gotta work on that lung capacity, my friend. But dang, it's, that is a bit horrifying, isn't it? Is this that place in Utah? I forget what it's called. It might not even be that one, but those like skinny canyons, canyoneering or whatever you call it, crazy. This doesn't look too bad, honestly. This is a little tight, but the videos I've seen of places like this, I think our last claustrophobia video even, it's like a lot, there's one that's a lot tighter than that. <laughs> Jeez. Oh boy, we got a water cave. Yuck, dude. Brother, why? Why would you do this? Ugh. Yeah, so the water part bothers me. Okay, that part gets me. Caves, also not great. Just how small the opening is and how uncertain it is of what you're gonna see when you get in there. I'm sure he's done it before, but like me? Uh-uh, I wouldn't go in there. Never in a million years. And my leg's gonna come around, and then this is the point at which you're gonna start feeling the pinch of life. But as you can see, I'm pretty flexible. I got my the knees pinch up, of my life. Face, I can put my hand through here. Uh, I'm, I'm fairly flexible, and, and that is really what it is. You will know your own limits. Bro, he technically can get through, but he has to give up so much of his mobility to do so and you have to like not freak out in that process. What possesses people to start? You know, like I'm all about pushing yourself and doing things that make you uncomfortable, I guess, but like why crawling in caves? What made you choose that of all things? And then how do you continually have the motivation to keep doing it? I have these things where I'm like, oh, I wanna do this. And then I try it and I'm like, eh, not for me. I didn't like it, it was too much for me, whatever. What's well, a one-time thing. But yeah, you, you build up motivation to go in a cave that's very slimly big enough for you to get through. You almost get stuck. You almost have a panic attack. Maybe you do have a panic attack. And then, you, you know, you survive. You get out and you're like, let's do that again next week. Here we go. This is what I was talking about earlier. The super tight crevices. I don't know if this is the one in Utah or not. I'm sure there's multiple places like this, but the one I usually see is in Utah. Canyoneering. Brutal, dude. See, I would consider doing this if, like, the cutoff of how deep these were was, like, eye level or, like, right above me where I could get my, my hands over it. But you're, like, down, you know? You can't really go up. You can't really go out. You're just, you're a little, you're in a little too deep for me. And I don't know if I like that very much. New York apartment. <laughs> Bed. Yeah? But hear me out. You don't get a bed. You put like a TV over here and like a little like bean bag chair. Maybe like a computer or a standing desk. You can make it work, man. Just don't sleep. Learn to sleep while standing or like hang upside down. Like the old days. Boeing 787 Cozy Crew Rest. Nice. This is actually probably pretty close to what that New York apartment looks like. Imagine living in New York in an apartment like that and then this is like your job, you know? You go to work and you're like, Thank goodness I can relax at work. And it's just like being at home. You know what they say, there's no place like home. Isn't that sweet? Okay, we might have seen this one before on video. I know I've seen it before. So crazy, dude. Watch the like, breathing. Here we go. He gets right around here. Empties all the air out of his lungs so that he can fit to that last bit. Dude, if you gotta empty your dang lungs to fit through a hole in the ground, don't go. That's just a rule we should all live by. 12 hours trapped inside this thing and you get a million dollars, do you take it? This is probably, this is probably for, this is probably for something funky. But a million dollars? 12 hours for a million dollars? Yeah, I could do that. For a million dollars, I could do that. I, I think, I actually think I could do that. It, would, it wouldn't be a good time. I'm not saying I wouldn't start freaking out. You know what? No, 12 hours? No way, no. I thought about it for a second. I don't think I could do that. Well, I'd have to. Well, no. I don't know. I'm gonna say no. Glacier in Iceland. This is just cool as hell, dude. I don't know who you are. Yeah, a little, little, little cramped in there, but bro, so cool looking. It looks delicious. Okay, we've seen this video before. This is the hell hole in Santa Cruz, I believe. An easy half day's drive for me to get there, so. Maybe I'll go and just look at it. Just go poke my head in. I don't know. 
Getting into an aircraft fuel tank? My guy, you supposed to be going in there? I don't want to be a party pooper, but do they want you in there? That's where the fuel goes. That's so crazy. Also, what is with, what is with that first thing he does? <laughs> like the second move, he like uses his hands, but at first he just kind of like flops forward. It's like, you don't have to do that yet. You're still on the surface. You can move however you want up here. Oh, yeah. God, I'm good. Epic prank. I've seen this exact prank before, and it's always like super staged, but it doesn't mean it wouldn't be terrifying to do because you really have to let your friend lock you up for the for the fake prank. You know, you still have to commit to it for the duration of the video. Yikes. Yikes. Sheesh. Ah, dude. He looks like he's panicking for that first second there. But then he manages to like squeak out a little, hell yeah, dude, for the camera. <laughs> but he looks like, kind of like he's freaking out for the first few seconds there. He's got concerned eyebrows. That is my diagnosis. There was a fad in the 1950s called booth stuffing where teens would try to stuff themselves in phone booths. Just when, you know, you find yourself wanting to make fun of TikTok trends, just remind yourself, this ain't nothing new. Kids doing goofy stuff just for the sake of it, back in the 50s. Also, this looks like a solid 10 or so kids. How are the people on the bottom alive? Huh? Title is, I don't know why, but this toilet really freaked me out. Really? There's nothing wrong with this photo to me. Sure, it's a small bathroom, but like, the toilet freaked you out? Cave exploring, dude. The craziest. Especially when it's like all like slimy like this. I don't know why that makes me feel like more uncomfortable. You think it'd be less because you would be able to like slide through things easier, but that almost is kind of why it's worse. You got no grip. I don't know. Plus it also implies water nearby, which I don't love either. Crazy. Guy gets stuck while cave. Guy gets stuck while caving and water is rising. There's like water pouring in. Dude, he's stuck and the water's rising. And it's slippery. There's the slippery again. See, once you get stuck. You panic. He closes up the space where the water's flowing, so he's now blocking the water. Crazy, dude. Yuck. That's what. That's why. That's why I couldn't do it. Cave diving. It'd be me. They get stuck. I. I guarantee it. Somehow, it'd be me, and everyone would be like, "Greg, come on, getting stuck. You're gonna get stuck and die in here." Well, you gotta run our nice caving adventure. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video of torturing ourselves looking at claustrophobia. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. It's funny making content that's like deliberately not enjoyable. The point isn't for it to not be enjoyable, but like the theme of my channel is very like phobia based and unsettling and just uncomfortable. I'm like, are people gonna watch this video? But well, then people do and I'm like down for it. And thanks for sticking around. Links for everything are in the description as always. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Let me know if you have any like new phobias you want me to check out or probably even bigger than phobias. I'd like to find another like internet community. You know, we've talked about like back rooms, liminal space, analog horror, some of these other like aesthetics and like kind of community based things. If you guys have any more of those, hit me up. I'm itching for like a new community of content to dig through. I love that kind of stuff. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.